29th annual conference of the Indian Society of Labor Economics is being hosted in our institute from the 16th of December. The Indian Society of Labor Economics is coming to Kerala after 25 years. That's a very, very long period. It's, it's actually a very important moment for us because we, an institute devoted to studies on finance and taxation, had made a beginning in labor studies with our report, the only one of its kind in India on migrant labor. So the who's who of labor economics are going to be here and it's, I look forward to it as a wonderful moment for this institute. It's a beautiful country. For those coming from outside, stay on for the few more days, see this place. I think it's slightly different from outside. So just see it for yourself. Welcome to Kerala. Thank you very much. With pleasure and with pride, I would like to announce the formal inauguration of this conference. Thank you. We are meeting here at the Gulati Institute of Finance and Taxation in Thiruvananthapuram for the 59th annual conference of the Indian Society of Labor Economics. We have invited lectures, we have panel discussions, uh, we provide an opportunity to young scholars who are doing PhDs or are young lecturers to learn the art of research, to submit papers, to present them at such a conference, to meet those in the profession who are established, uh, not only people from India, but people from different parts of the world. So in that sense, this conference is a meeting space. Turning to the conference, uh, Dr. Deepak Nair mentioned about the topics of the conference, uh, the three important uh, uh, themes. Uh, in fact, if you see the conference, uh, the you know, topics, panel discussions and all, another theme running through is the inequality. Uh, yesterday we had a book release on inequality and then uh, we have panel uh, discussion on regional inequalities and also another book release on inequality. Even I am going to talk on, on this in the presidential address. So that this is one theme running through the conference. Uh, another one is, of course, the, uh, the Kerala development experience. Uh, because uh, Kerala's development experience is always uh, fascinating, uh, particularly on issues like uh, public education, health, human development, remittances, uh, uh, Kudumbasri program, labor policy, social security, so all very fascinating experience. Uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, the lecture by Dr. Uh, Thomas Isaac, the Game Trust Memorial Lectures, and also a panel discussion on the uh, Kerala, uh, you know, the demographic uh, experience and the employment. This 59th ISLE conference being hosted by Gulati Institute of Tax, Finance and Taxation 
uh, is somewhat more important for us. So, uh, and it has been a great experience for me. It's been very pleasant and very. Uh, so, um, I think this institute is shaping up to be a very good place for both research and training. themes have been selected for this conference. One is informality in labor markets, uh, the second is macroeconomic policies and employment, and the third is technological change and employment. So from that point of view, it's a, it's a, it's a unique uh, opportunity for economists and policymakers to exchange their ideas around issues related to technology and labor. are employees, not employers, and therefore it's terribly important to understand the links between employment and growth, employment and income distribution, employment and welfare. And that is why I'm going to talk about work and welfare. And I look forward to hearing a lot of the other very eminent people who are here for this uh, conference. I wish to take this time to declare our determination to strengthen the labor regulations of Kerala as the most important means to protect the rights, privileges and welfare of all workers to employment security, minimum wages, occupational safety, health and social security benefits. I think the conference is great because it uh, invites a lot of uh, very young scholars in the field so that they can have the chance to present their work and find some more uh, senior scholars to comment on their work. I think it's a great time for those uh, young scholars interact with the senior scholars. The idea of organizing it, uh, the way it has been, uh, has been splendid. Uh, so my congratulations and felicitations to both the ISLE and the Gulati uh, Institute. Uh, they have done a wonderful job.
and all the sessions uh, were really targeted on the today's trends in the labor economy and uh, market fluctuations and informal sector i'm so happy we here uh, this is the first time that i have that i'm coming to kerala and overall it was a very nice and refreshing experience so i'm very thankful uh, to gift as well as the isle to give me a opportunity to participate in this particular conference thank you uh the quality of technical sessions were also very good and the government's participation is evidently visible we wish isle all success in future i wish all the luck to the isle organizer to the cds to the gif and i'm looking uh, forward to the future to visit this place again thank you